Welcome back to the channel everybody. In today's video I want to do a review of this awesome beautiful case by Marcus Bona. This case is available for tendon trombone and for bass trombone. This is the bass trombone version. Basically they are the same apart from some obvious dimensions. Um, it is available in three colors I believe. That's what I saw online when I bought it. It was either in black, in white or in uh, wine red is the name of this color and it was not so easy to find at least here in Germany uh, the alternative that I found was on the Tyne website they are selling their own branded versions of this case but it has a big Tyne written on it and I don't play Tyne trombones and even if I did I don't really feel comfortable with big brands on my clothes or on my cases whatever so um, I went out to find this and I found it. It took some time to get delivered, I think like two months or something, but it's really, really worth it. I've had this case for, I would say, three years now, and as you can see, it just looks completely, completely new. Uh, I'm not the kind of person that takes such good care of his things, equipment especially. Um, but, you know, I've traveled a lot with it and it's always been just absolutely amazing. So you have three parts to this case basically. You have the main part which is the actual case. Um, you have this uh, thing here, this little bag that you can zip on the case. It's very very practical and it's actually really really spacious. So you can put music in there but I've also fitted um, a practice mute, I fit my laptop, a 15 inch MacBook Pro, so they fit in this. Um, and usually when I travel, what I do, I carry my trombone with me, I put it on the plane, and I just unzip this, and in this there's my, you know, my headphones, my big Bose uh, uh, sound counseling headphones, there's my laptop, I can even put an iPad, I can put a book. Um, it's actually very, very spacious. You even fit a little 50 centimeter water bottle, no problem. So it's really, really spacious. It's really, really ma well made. You have the logo here. Uh, you have some leather here. It's, it, it's really cool. It's, it's actually really cool. Now, just a little word. I'm not sponsored at all by Marcus Bona. I've never met this person. Um, this is a completely objective review. Before in the past I've been using a number of other gig bags um, and cases for my instruments and I have never been so happy as with this one. So this um, is not leather, it's this uh, material that is actually quite waterproof. I've taken it in the snow, I've taken it in the rain and I have never had any kind of problem Inside there's some fiberglass I believe, but this is actually quite mushy, so it acts like some good protection. What you get also with the case is this little, whoa, is this little pouch for two mouthpieces. It's really nice and cushiony. It's, it's you know, top quality materials. It's really top quality materials. You can fit two mouthpieces in there. Now, you know, uh, I have never ever used it because I never carry two mouthpieces with me but you know I know some people that do which I don't recommend you should really stick to one mouthpiece but if you did use two mouthpieces uh, you could absolutely fit them in here this is what it's for in fact I wonder if you could even fit three mouthpieces in this pouch depending of course on the size of your mouthpieces now uh, I want to dig into the inside of the case. First of all, if you don't know what a cut bell trombone is, let me show you. So this is, of course, a cut bell trombone. So what you do is you can unscrew the bell and I'll show you this when I show you the inside of the case. I'm going to move the camera a little bit so that we can really have a good look inside. And so here it is, the inside of my case. Uh, the picture of my wife. Uh, so here, you know, it's all really, really, really good material. Again, like, I, I, you know, I'm not an expert maybe in materials, but I can tell you everything is plush. Everything feels that it is really well protected. You have some stitches here that 
make these squares that are really nice and cushiony. Everything is absolutely top notch. Again, I've had this case for like three years now and it is just perfect, absolutely perfect. So uh, here you have a little case you know, a little compartment. Again, it's very plush. It's, it's just very pleasant when you open your case that everything is nice and plush and feels good on your skin. Um, and here you have space, you know, to put oils and stuff. Here I keep my Dennis Wick uh, mouthpiece pouch. Uh, you can put some pencils, you can put, you know, slide oil. Uh, you know, everything fits. Usually in here I have two different kinds of valve oils, one for the rotary and one for the actual valve. I also have um, some slido mix. I have a few products, something to wash my mouthpiece or whatnot, and everything fits. It's actually very spacious. And for your pencils and everything like this, you have a little pouch here that is made out of leather that you can actually take out. And here, you know, you have space to put uh, everything that you need, some, some pencils. Um, I also keep a few tools in case I need to adjust something on my trombone, uh, you know, some rubber. You, uh, this is like a very old Lefrec thing. Uh, you can keep all your stuff in here. It's also quite spacious, it's quite long, and it's very practical that you can take it out because if you're in a rehearsal, you're in a rush, you just take it, put it on your stand, and here you go, you have your pencil, you have uh, you know, your reading glasses if you need reading glasses and that's quite cool. So I'm actually going to take it away because it's hard to deal with like this on the other side. Um, here is obviously to put your slide um, and again it's very nice material and here is where you put your bell. Now the bell is actually really well protected in this case because it is flat on the case and I'm going to uh, put my trombone inside of here uh, and show you how to fit it here. Uh, again, you know, very plush material, you know that your uh, trombone is going to be well taken care of. You have two extra cushions um, that you can stick wherever you want. Uh, one of them is in my room, I don't really use them. Uh, but you could, you know, if you want to make sure you have extra protection and here is the place where you will put the um, the main part of your instrument. So I'm going to take my trombone and I'm going to show you. So when I go to a rehearsal usually I take my trombone, this is my trombone, it's an R9, and I take the mouthpiece out that I put here, of course I put it in the pouch, but for now it's fine. So first you would put your slide here, so first you would put your slide here. Um, everything is really well made to really hold your slide. I've never actually done this uh, from behind the case. I'm a little bit confused. But here's where you put your slide. You can block it here. By the way, you can fit those long rods to clean the slide very easily here. And then, you know, you just unscrew the bell of your instrument. Ah, sorry about the noise. Um, and you just fit the bell right here. And then the main part of your instrument that you will fit. Oh man, it's really hard to do it the other way. Uh, the other way around. How is it? Like this. Yeah. That you fit. Is it? Yeah, like this. So you see that here everything is just well fitted, well protected. There's something to make sure that it never hits your bell and you just close it and close it and that's it. One thing that I didn't tell you also is that um, on this pouch you have this which is which can hold either a music stand or a trombone stand so that's very very practical. So before we finish off I want to uh, show you how that compares in terms of sizes to another bass trombone case. This is the Eastman of a fiberglass case and you can see, I mean look how big this is compared to this. You know? Like the size difference is just immense. My sister plays the viola and this case is smaller than her viola case 
um, the trombone, the tenor trombone version compares to a violin. So when I hop on the plane, I just tell the students this is a violin and I have no problem fitting it in the overhead lockers. It's really, really, really practical. It's much, much smaller. It's very solid. Um, everything, you know, is, is really good. You can use it as a backpack. It's quite comfortable. It's not the most plushy uh, backpack straps actually, but you can change those. Um, and yeah, it's just a really, really cool case that is much smaller than anything else, of course, if you don't have a screw bell. Um, but yeah, so that's it for today's video, actually. I wanted to show you this really, really cool, again, I'm not sponsored, so this is purely objective. I've used this case for years now. Um, and to show you, you know, like, what it is like. I've seen a lot of people asking about cases for their cut bell trombones. And I think that this Marcus Bona, especially in this color, is just the best that there is on the market. So that's it for today's video. If you've enjoyed it, please put a thumb up. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. And I will see you very soon in the next video. Take care. Bye.